What is up, mushrooms and mushroom tibets? How you guys doing today? It's a nice, beautiful, brisk morning out here in San Bernardino, and um, you know, I just uh, got done doing a little bit of some uh, maintenance on the bike. Not necessarily maintenance, but checks, check the valves on this bitch. So for those of you that don't know, and you know, obviously haven't been around the channel for that long, I, you know, I bought this bike in 2013, and uh, the engine blew in 2015, and it sat for five years, and I rebuilt it. Well, on the rebuilt motor, we've hit 2,000 miles, oh, over 2,000 miles now. And uh, I was like, you know what? These valves gotta be out of spec at this point. And guess what? They were not only in spec, they were about as good and perfectly in spec as they could possibly be, which was kind of cool. Yeah, the valve, anybody that was asking about the valves, man, big ol' A-OK -okay on that. This bike's been fucking so good, man. I've just been a lot better with the oil, changing it like every three or three to four hundred miles, and she's been fucking golden. And for those of you guys that watched my video, um, where I went and picked up my PSU for my computer, uh, I saw a lot of people with interest in computers and you know if you're like me and you like a little bit of some extra tech in your life uh, I finally built my uh, my new generation computer uh, my old computer I built in 2016 it was an x99 platform i7 6800k and, and a base 1080 rogue strix 1080 and you know what that, that fucking computer is a workhorse for me but fast forward all this time later uh, I saw the opportunity, uh, you guys know how hard computer parts are kind of hard to come by, especially the good ones, and I was at Best Buy, and I had one of those send it moments where there was one last i9 10850K left, and one last Rogue Strix Z490 motherboard, and I was like, yoink, yoink, and went ahead and went up and bought that shit real quick. And uh, I've been slowly piecing together my computer and shit. And uh, at this time, I'd, I'd say she's like fully refreshed. You know, I'm still using my older RAM, but it's, you know, some Corsair Vengeance RAM. It's DDR4. It's fucking perfect RAM. The one has got the bottle in his hand and everything. And it's fucking early morning. It's 10 o'clock. And I know I did get some questions about AMD and why I didn't I choose AMD. And it's, uh, it's pretty simple. I just don't care for AMD. You know, it's just a preference thing. I've always been an Intel dickhead and NVIDIA dickhead. They've always treated me well, they've always lasted me a long time and never let me fail, so it's just kind of like, you know, I, I stick with what's been good with me, you know. But hey, nothing against AMD, but, you know, that's what I chose, and uh, I'm not going to lie, it, it kind of blew my expectations out of the water. But right now, my expectations are going to be blown even more out of the water because we're getting some Wendy's, baby. Alright, let's go get us some fucking a burger and some nugs. Hello. Whitney's has been acquired. What the fuck is that? A straight up stripped chair. Random item number one of the day, I'm telling you. It's only so long until we find a damn mattress. It's literally become a goddamn meme of this damn channel. Finding damn mattresses just everywhere, strewn about. Well, folks, about time we eat this Wendy's and then we'll continue on with our exploration. Yeah. Welcome back. I just ate my Wendy's and we are all kinds of fueled up. And also, bike swap. Fucking two bikes, one video, baby. Do people crash into that wall like crazy? All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna kind of like explore off and fuck around for the rest of the vid and uh, do a Patreon Q&A because it's been a quite a while since we did that and uh, went ahead and asked my patrons to ask some uh, more questions for the videos and the ones who wanted to go ahead and be featured in the video did and I went ahead and wrote them down and we're gonna go ahead and get started with Doc's asking what organ would i donate to a person in need i mean if i had to donate an organ i'm assuming i'm dead so i don't know probably my pecker i'm sure there's some dudes out there that could use a new pecker or a pepper a pecker uplift you know what i mean i can't believe that 7-eleven is finally open that 7-eleven took like 20 years to build but uh yeah i'd probably donate my pecker or like any other uh, body part that could be used I don't know, I guess if I'm dead, fucking feed me to nature, 
make somebody a cyborg like give one guy like one of my pinky fingers give one person my fucking like left ass cheek give one guy my fucking like left nipple i'm i mean the the possibilities are endless our next question is going to be from nikita and they ask my opinion on dual sports versus adventure bikes and if i'd ever upgrade to a bigger dual gun my answer to that is uh adventure bikes are cool not really my style a lot of a lot of adventure bikes are more uh you know bigger heavier kind of bikes i'm more of a fan of you know the smaller like more the ones you can bikes you just like fucking have a good time like fucking like the ones that kind of feel like toys if if that makes sense ones you can kind of just throw around I, I like bikes like these they just feel more uh um at home to my kind of riding but nothing against right uh, adventure bikes at all you know they're really cool they definitely have the purpose and uh definitely would love to have a bigger uh, dual sport i wanted more of the uh that klx 300 but you know i would like a drz 400 you know they're just a little too heavy and um I, I i don't know I, I mean i'd get one i'd get one i love the shit out of them but i kind of want something more modern like something with fuel injection if they if they modernize the dr4 drz 400 and put fuel injection and shit on it i'd be all over it hills are looking mighty nice today damn this ro this road feels like it got paved or something i don't ever remember it being this smooth i'll never forget that tarantula that i saw just walking on the side of the road one time here it's a view rope and a half right there had a mattress that looked like a busted up mattress. Our next question is from Dan Urschel. If you quaff in a megaphone, does it become a queef? And I guess he had a quaffology 201 uh, test or something later in the weekend. I wonder if a car burned down right there. I wonder if a car got broken into right there. Uh, but to answer your question, Dan, I'd have to say a quaff into a megaphone turn into a queef. I'd say the the physics would say yes, but the the logistics would say no. So um, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. I'd say it just depends on situation at best. Dude, look at this fucking skate park. They fucking tore this shit up. Damn, this shit got all tagged up. What's up, man? I don't even remember it looking like this. I wonder if I can go take a piss. I could. Looks like there's a bunch of people like fucking shooting H in there though. Damn, I'm shocked there's not like mattresses and shit up here seem to always be mattresses in places like this all right next question is from cr and burke and ask what's the speed on our freeways and that they, <laughs> and that they always see me going a little faster than even them well see california from my experience going to other states our speed limits are kind of like wasted pieces of metal on the sides of the road because no one fucking drives them and uh you'll see traffic out here pretty much on average on freeways and stuff running around about 80 miles an hour so um that being said you know when you see me on my zx10 and shit that's just pretty much uh you know me kind of going through and filtering through the traffic and stuff all right and our next question is from nemo saurus and asked me what i got for christmas he said he got socks and uh <laughs> i think i answered that question a little early for you on that video where you actually got to see what i got for christmas and that's a dislocated shoulder falling through my stairwell but i did get that 3080 from the beast of a fucking gentle tip mike and uh who's also the one who pretty much sped tracked my way into finally getting my new pc built because all that i was holding off on doing that for was because i couldn't get a new generation's graphics card or a newer generation graphics card the 30 series so now my new pc's built uh i'd say that's a better christmas present than i could ever even dream of getting so fucking uh, once again man mad love to mike damn the srt8 jeep you can hear that baby it's like <laughs> I 
guy's shitting himself. He has a fucking CHP behind him. <laughs> that dude's fucking like, damn it, now I'm gonna have to accelerate onto the fucking highway at like 25 miles an hour. And we got our final question from Nicholas, who asked if I could only cheat one chooch for the rest of my life, what would it be? And uh, I actually have the answer to that. And that would be some good old super silver haze. So once again, thank you guys, uh, Patreons, for participating in that Q&A. And as always, uh, there will be another post on Patreon if you guys are on there and want to be a part of this and be featured in one of my videos. Um, just keep a lookout for that, and uh, we'll do another one of these soon. But now, since we're out of questions, let's go find some fun shit to explore. I'm still in an exploring mood, man. Oh, that prelude SI. That's the same one I used to have, but mine was red, not piss yellow. Looks like there might be some potential areas over here to explore. I'm not sure. Look like it. Dead end. I didn't even get to ride the Honda. Imagine like just tagging on somebody's like fucking gate to their yard. Imagine. I saw a street over here that just piqued my interest. I think it was this one. Yeah. Looks like a curvy street that goes into some openness. Let's see what that says. I don't think I've ever been up the street. Oh, it looks like it's just a little residential pocket. The fuck? Dude's like putting a fucking bottle of cock in his back pocket. Oh, oh look at that beautiful view. They look at this random street, this beautiful view. Damn, whatever end house is right here, they got it made. So look at this guy's fucking yards right here, and he gets this for his view. Fucking beautiful. Damn, you can see the arrowhead on the mountain from here. Damn, this is a good picture spot. Dumping prohibited, dumping prohibited, dumping prohibited. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Whoa, look at that. Look at that spot. Holy shit. That's like a full-blown like house right there. And there's a cross in the ground right there. I wonder if it's like a pet. And there's just a random boat just sitting on the ground right there. That's cool. I didn't know that this street led to this cool little uh, ridge here. Damn, what the fuck is that? Mattress. It says dumping prohibitive and it's like a fucking landfill off to the side. Should take a look down there. See what kinds of shit we can find down here. Ooh. So we're like along the train tracks right here. Some random dirt path right here. Which I don't know what this would lead to. Do you think these just form over time with like vehicles driving up and down them? Dude, this is the most random setup. Look at this. It's like chairs. Like, some straight up, like, what the fuck is on this mattress? <laughs> like, what is that? Is that piss? Did somebody piss themselves that much? Did somebody get murdered on it? That kind of looks like one of those crime scene cleaner mattresses. <sighs> Die? He is cool. Is that like an Instagram? At dog doggo dot lad. We have to try to find that guy. Bro, I think that's like a fucking murder mattress right there. Like someone got like shot in their sleep or something. Oh, I'm rolling up on that fucking camp down there. Dude, look at. Look at all the mattresses on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mattresses just right there on the side. Dude, I wonder if I could take this all the way. Oh, there's a guy outside, damn it. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, he looks friendly. Dead end right here? Gotcha. Thank you, man. Looks like a big old butt bag of dog food right there. Dude, that's a cool setup right there. 
man dirt tires really do make a difference because man this thing i feel like i'm like ice skating oh fuck i just got hit in the head with a b holy shit man this bike runs so fucking good i think that dyno tune that i put on this thing like really made everything just synchronize if that makes sense like the fact that there was a, a tune for my exact like exhaust and intake that i have on here it's pretty cool that stuff like that's there and i'm just i just flash it on bro that would suck to dislocate my shoulder out here what the hell is that thing it's not like a fucking mcdonald's coffee machine what the fuck this is a fucking camp oh no it's a couch Look at all these couches probably have stories. Probably lots of nuts busted on them. Fucking shows watched on them. All kinds of stuff. And they're now just sitting here. Rotten and forgotten. Dude, am I about to go like under that bridge over there? Oh shit, look at that vintage cart. Bro, this is cool looking. What the hell? Oh shit. Oh shit, son. Yo, this goes under a bridge. Oh, it's all rocks though. Fuck that. Oh, I've seen this place off the bridge right there. I know where I know where we're at. Alright, well no luck here. I don't like really riding over those fucking big old rocky areas on this bike. Slamming fucking big old boulders into my motor and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I got these pro tapers on here that are a little uh, higher. Oh they feel a little higher. Or they feel a little better at least for standing. <laughs> Not a bad little spot. It's pretty cool. And the easy get out. Eat. See what how cool that is? You just fucking go off a road and you can just find cool shit, man. Man, having a house up here wouldn't be bad. This doesn't even look ghetto. I mean, down there it kind of does, but up here it's totally fine. Look, mobile homes. I bet that mobile home park's not too bad. If you want to be a trailer park boy. Big old bird in the air right there. Oh, look right here. Here's an overview of the spot I was just at. See, I ended right there. And I just went right there under the bridge. And then into that facility right there, so it wouldn't have even went farther. Oh look, it's right here off baseline. Good old queef line. I don't think I ever would have thought I'd say that a road off of baseline was nice until today. See? Another day, another new location found. So now if I'm like ever here and someone goes, what's up there? I'll be like, go ahead and sit back and let me tell you all about it. Here's where we went on that one last video where I had the DR200 and we went through the little field. It's weird that these bikes have been like out for like six years now, I think it's been. And I still rarely ever see them ever, ever, ever. If people only knew it was a Honda that was like so easy to work on that would last forever and so cheap on gas, I bet a lot more people would buy them. But is it just people too scared to ride bikes? They're just like, eh, I don't know how to ride this. Up. Wouldn't that be cool if Groms had VTEC? Like it fucking kicks in at like 6K. I hate that my, my tires don't queef. Like it's actually bothersome. Like I was queefing right there. And it was just like, instead of a... It was a... Weirdly, the cheap tires are the ones that queef the best. I had those like... Like just... They were, I forgot what they were even called. They were just some shit tires. And man, those things queef like a symphony. And these are like Michelin ones, so they're like, you know, they're decent quality ones. And nope, not a single queef. Watch. Nothing. Rips through traffic, dude. I love this thing. 
Well guys, I think it's the time we uh, go ahead and head back. I appreciate you guys chilling on this other fine, fine little adventure. As always, thank you guys for watching. All links will be down below if you want to support me on Patreon. Get one of my shirts, keys, and stickers, hoodies, etc. And, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the... Ah! Out of that like button. And you guys have a, a real good day. I'll see you guys later. Twin!